Editors here, Chris Steyerwalt, News Nation political editor, joining us to break all this down. Chris, good morning to you. Happy Friday. So everybody's going to be watching this debate tonight. Abortion is, is I think, the hot ticket item, right, that we're going to hear. How important is it for the moderator to address this? And what do you expect Herschel Walker to say? Well, look, it's anybody's guess. Uh, Walker has run uh, sort of a, a, a basement campaign. Uh, he's relied on a lot of advertising and a very famous name uh, to, to get through this race. But he hasn't gotten through it very well. If you want to, if you want to think about what the real shape of this race is, Brian Kemp, uh, the incumbent Republican governor, is running consistently ahead of Democratic challenger Stacey Abrams. Is at five, six, seven points and doing very well. Uh, on the other hand, Walker is is now for a couple of weeks been consistently behind Herschel, uh, behind Raphael Warnock. That ten point gap or so between the Republican governor and the Republican Senate candidate tells you how much Walker has struggled. And this is a Republican state. If it were not for the character logical questions about Herschel Walker, he would be leading. This is a race that Republicans should win. And the fact that they're pouring all of this money and pouring all of this time into a state that should be in the in the red column uh, tells you what a weak uh, campaign Walker has had so far. Chris, what do you make of the strategy from Raphael Warnock not to really address this, at least not until tonight, potentially? And I would imagine tonight we won't even hear him address it then. Uh, this is something, th this is one where you don't want to get involved. This is a very sad story. Whatever the truth of whichever allegations, the story of Herschel Walker's family life is a sad story. Uh, his estrangement from his adult son, uh, the women who have made the accusations against him, the children who uh, they say that he has left behind, that's a sad story. And, Walk, uh, and Warnock, who happens also to be the lead pastor at Ebenezer Baptist Church, cannot be in a position to come out and condemn a person who has obviously had a troubled past. So what he has to hope for, if you're Warnock, what you have to hope for is that tough but fair questions from the moderators and Walker's own answers will be sufficient to cement in voters' minds that though they might prefer to have a Republican senator, that senator can't be Herschel Walker. Yeah, it is a delicate topic, to say the least, uh, Chris. Senator Warnock has a two-point lead in that Hill-Emerson College poll that we reported. Also finds the economy the top issue among Georgia voters right now. So how much should that concern Warnock going into this debate um, in this final stretch before the midterm? Look, this is definitely a, a race that Walker can still win uh, because the issue set, and by the way, Georgia is a Republican state, and it's, by the way, a state in which Republicans are frustrated by the fact that they cost the Republicans the Senate uh, in the 2021 runoffs when Warnock got in, got in. So this is something that they're all acutely aware of. And as I say, Georgia would prefer to have a Republican senator. It's just that they're struggling with whether or not Herschel Walker can be the guy. So what Walker needs to do tonight is be cool uh, and not get tangled up. He has had a lot of gaffes on the trail. Uh, he himself has tried to play down his own debate performance and say that he is not as good a debater as Warnock is and that he is not as eloquent as he is uh, and that he has tried to manage those expectations. But he still has to pass some kind of a bar in the minds of voters. And he doesn't just have to do it with his eloquence. He has to make a moral case for why he deserves the trust of the voters to be in the Senate. Right. And trying to get those undecideds if there are any still out there. Chris Steyerwalt joining us this morning live. We'll be watching. Chris, thank you. You bet. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.